What's up YouTube, it's the air coming to another video and today I just want to talk about the power of influences and why it's best to be isolated when you're on a journey to grow. And so isolation is a state of being in a place or situation that is separate from others. So basically isolation is a time when you spend alone. And I've learned that isolation is truly the best place where you can grow into your true self. I say this because your environment plays a big part in your behavior. For example, when the temperature changed, we changed the way we dress. Um, Halloween night, it was cold outside. We know we had a quick temperature change, so we went from wearing summer clothes to um, winter clothes and everything. But now, you see, it's back hot outside, so our um, environment can influence what we wear so we want to dress appropriately for the weather another example is when we're going out and say one of your friends say such just going to be there and you like that person so now you're going to change to try to dress to impress so our environment and the people in our environment can also influence what we wear and what we dress and how we act. our environment can determine how we act if we go to church we act calm and allow the preacher to preach but if we go to a concert we're screaming the lyrics to the top of our lungs and we sing we sing at church too, but when we go to a concert and see our favorite artist, for example, Beyonce or Drake, we sing a lot louder than versus the people that we see every Sunday in the choir. I'm not saying that I'll scream louder for Drake or Beyonce than Jesus, but now Jesus is in the pool with himself, you know, leading the choir and singing. Hopefully, I won't be at the church anymore. Hopefully, I'll be in heaven because if I'm still on earth when Jesus came back, that that would be a problem. <laughs> but anyway, um... Yeah. Another example is the people in our environment can influence how we act as well. If someone is nice to you and compliment you, that will brighten your day. But if someone says something mean, it will make you angry. And also your friends can influence how we act. We act a certain way with different people. So when we want to grow and change into a better person, we must first change our environment. For some of us, environment is the reason we have bad habits or why we feel like we need to change. I would like to give a personal example for myself. Um, I, I moved about two months ago, so I'm in, in a new environment for like two months. and It's going pretty good. Honestly, I feel a lot better. I'm able to look at life a lot better. I'm able to be more positive. And I realize that sometimes that, you know, it might not even be us. That's the problem. It's our environment. And sometimes our environment can make us feel like we're depressed. Our environment can make us feel like we're not doing enough. Our environment can make us feel like we need to do something different in our life and and we should take those signs as a you know as a sign of change and first before we change ourselves we must change our environment because how can you grow in an environment that's hurting you so get rid of the hurt hurtful environment and you're able to prosper and it's really true because sometimes we realize that we may have bad thoughts but that might even be our thoughts it might be the people thoughts that's around us and sometimes People can say things about us and that can travel and everything and it can make you feel a type of way just by being in the same environment as them. For some of us, our environment is the reason we have bad habits or why we feel like we need to change. For example, if you live in a to toxic environment, you're going to feel like you need a stress reliever. That stress reliever may be drinking, smoking, unnecessary eating, or going out to party just to, to stop stressing. Or you can be in an environment where someone makes you feel like you're not enough, so you try to do things that you don't like to impress others just to get them to see you. So sometimes it's not us that need to change, but our environment needs to change. I discovered that this is why God sometimes removes friends, boyfriends, or girlfriends, family, or simply just the place we live in and move us to a new place. Sometimes things can hurt us physically, mentally, and spiritually, or emotionally. While in a relationship, did you know that your partner can share the same thoughts, feelings, and emotions? And for the parents that, I don't know, I, I noticed that a kid came up to me and asked me if I was a YouTuber, and they said they saw me on YouTube, so if there are any kids watching this, or if any parents watching this with your kids, um, this, this next topic is going to be a little explicit. I'm going to be talking about sexual relationships and how that can um, affect us spiritually and mentally and emotionally, man. And I think that's a big topic that we need to address because I also want to talk about the music industry and how their influence is over us as well. So while in a relationship, did you know that you and your partner can share the same thoughts, feelings, and emotions? When we have sex, that's a very powerful thing. That's why churches preach that you should wait until marriage. Mark 10 chapter 6 through 8 um and the two would become one flesh so they would no longer be two but one flesh so when you have sex with somebody you become one so it's like the same thoughts the same feelings that that person have now become your thoughts and feelings so if you have sex in a negative um 
emotion like so if you have sex out of depression sex out of anger sex out of lust now y'all are going to be sharing that lust sharing that depression sharing those negative thoughts so you may now find yourself okay i never thought this before why i'm thinking this now because those aren't actually your thoughts those are the person thoughts you're sleeping with and that's why you have to be very careful about who you sleep with because energy is powerful and that energy can travel to you as that's why it's important to choose your partner carefully because each time you give a piece of yourself to each other and if sex is done in a lustful manner modern day terms if sex is done out of grief depression anger or any other negative emotion and you're just passing that to each other, causing changes in your mental, your thoughts, and your actions. Then I have Proverbs 5 and 15, drink water from your own Christian. And then Proverbs um, 5 and 17, let them be yours alone, never be shared with strangers. So they're basically saying, you know, drink from your own well, drink from your own fountain. Because once you share that with strangers, you know, now your water is going to be um, polluted. It's going to be um was that impure so you want to make sure you find somebody that's pure and on the right path as you because if you find somebody and you're trying to grow and they're not trying to grow as that's going to affect your um growth if you're going to start having you know i don't want to do this i don't do that it's going to start um deterring you from your path and everything so that's why when people get together you know they start to look alike uh, after married couples after a while they start to look alike because you know they're basically sharing the same dna and everything they're becoming one flesh and you know when you hang around somebody for so long they you start to act alike so you start to um you know do things a similar way and that's the example of why so now i want to talk about social media and how the influence of social media is um harming us i see social media is normalizing toxic sex for example we have sexy red who's talking about pound town or she's looking for a baby daddy i personally feel like the music industry has a hidden agenda towards the black community we've seen it happen in the 90s when everyone turned to gangs and selling drugs at first the music industry targeted the young black man and we still see it today so just like the um crack epidemics when they planted um drugs in the black neighborhoods they took out our fathers and everything so if you know the father is a big influence in the household so if we have people running around talking about they want to sell um drugs or do this and do that that's going to affect our kids because our kids are going to grow up like that as well and think about it the kids are our future generation and i was learning um that kids are in a hypnotic state between the age of zero to seven so anything they listen to they're gonna that that's gonna be part become part of their life so that's why um you know parents say y'all know this music um more than y'all know your homework and that's kind of true i've been doing some research and everything so you know how we have brain waves music has um waves as well and certain music and certain rhythms can affect our brain waves and they can you know basically put us in a hypnotic state so it's easier as little for us to you know know songs with no lyrics by just by hearing a beat and they do that on purpose to get catchy so you know um for instance like the um i think it's like um i can't even think about the um the beat pattern what it's called but you know the tempo the tempo can be very crucial to our brain waves and everything so you know certain music can affect us spiritually mentally so that's why we have to be careful to what we listen to and also music can affect us emotionally you know when you get sad you, know, you go play on something you go play some sad music or for instance when you want to fight everybody play um set it off by boosie everybody ready to throw on the air force runs the black ones and you know book and <laughs> knuckle every book people ready to fight too and it's like you know when you're angry i stop i stopped listening to rap music for a while and but when i get angry guess when i when i get mad <laughs> i go play some rap music but i don't do that anymore you know i'm starting to get away from rap music um i don't feel the same way i feel about it because now i'm starting to pay attention to the lyrics and everything and I, me personally i don't like the way how they degrade de de um downgrading women how they disrespecting women and everything and i don't like the way the women are talking about themselves in there and me personally i know i'm a woman myself i'm not like you know bumping heads with anybody that do listen to that type of music but when you get on a certain type of path and a certain type of journey you just grow in a different type of way and when you now when you listen to this music and you play dog and you see what it's doing to your community and that just affects you in a different way so now i just look at um I just look at Drake. Drake made a song or uh, album down for all the dogs. And I used to love Drake personally, but me, 
I still listen to Drake old music, but his new music about um all the dogs and everything, I don't like that because he's basically justifying a way to mistreat women. And I think he has a song on there tomorrow. I wish you wish I could have treated you better. And nope. And I was just sitting there listening to it like, what is going on? This is basically saying it's okay to cheat, basically okay to do this, basically it's okay to be toxic. And I don't, I don't like the way that goes because me personally, I want to be like. I want to get married. I want to have a good relationship. I want to, you know, do all those things. But, you know, you are what you eat. You are what you listen to. And you are what you watch and everything. And that plays a crucial part into your own growth and development. So, I just wanted to say that. And I have some more. I've been wanting to make a music um, a music um, video for a while about the music industry. And I guess it's just coming out now. But we're going to get back into it. Uh, now the music industry is targeting the young women by promoting unsafe sex. Don't you think it's crazy they're making songs about having no condoms, not wearing a condom, after they banned abortion? And having a child can mentally destroy you if you aren't prepared, if you don't have the finances. It can hurt the child as well if they don't come from a good home or environment. So Sexy Reds out here talking about Pound Town and how, um, you know, all the other songs she made and... Yeah, now it's basically saying that, you know, TLC, when TLC first came out, they promoted safe sex with the condoms and everything, but now they're not even doing that anymore, and then even Sexy Red's talking about going around talking about STDs and stuff, so that's kind of wild how now things are really changing, and if you don't have, if you're not aware of how things can really affect you, most people will go out there and try to, um do the same thing just to um because they think it's cool because people out here rapping about it in the songs and everything but not knowing that the songs that they're listening to is really hurting them spiritually mentally and emotionally because now they basically justifying it's okay to get cheated on it's okay to go cheat it's okay to have multiple people and people gonna think this is normal and because and cool normally when it's not so it's just certain influences that in our life that's playing a big part that we have to be aware of and i had this video that i sh um i watched last night and i want to share with you guys and now it's going to be a little different because this video was recorded in 1991 so i'm gonna whenever you hear him say white man just replace it with the people that's in in, in, in charge like the people that's in power he's not talking about the everyday white man that just walk around like, you know i think black people we need to uh, just um eliminate the color and start discriminating people because of the color because it really don't matter about your color and everything so he's really talking about the people in charge so he's talking about the music industry the government and everything so when you hear this video just um, think about it this is why the white man don't want you to come near the teachings of the honorable elijah muhammad because thank you because he knows you think like him. He's the real devil. He's your teacher. So you think like your master. So you do like white folks. So God can say to you, uh-huh, my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Mine are from above, yours are from beneath. Why are your thoughts from beneath? Because you let an enemy shape your mind. Yes. You let a devil shape your yes. mind. So if the white man is your educator, your teacher, and your trainer, you don't think like God. You think like the one who taught you. And it is only when you come into God's classroom yes. and become a student of God that you can grow into God. And that's why Jesus said, accept you become. But he's basically saying like the image of black people was curated by, you know, the white people and everything, by the government, by the image they gave us, by giving us food stamps. They created us to be um, not having enough, to be thugs, you know, be uneducated. So that's why that's what I want to talk about. So we have to think for ourselves, create our own image, go above and beyond, you know, stop falling behind society, you know, just break out and do what's best for us. That's why they call us uneducated because they know if we get educated, we'll be unstoppable. We'll go back to our true original roots and everything. So that's why the biggest thing to growing is knowledge. The biggest thing to overcoming is knowledge because if you don't know who you are, you can't go back to who you were. So 
And that's the big thing we have to work on today, just overcoming the obstacles and boundaries that they placed on us because those are only their um, mindsets, not our mindsets. We have to step outside the matrix, break out the matrix. And, you know, I'm not judging or trying to point out anyone, but we shouldn't let the music or artists influence the way we act. Women don't have to walk around naked or to dance inappropriate just to be seen by a man because you aren't being seen by a man but a boy who is just looking at you for only one thing. A real man will see you for your mind, your personality, and your passions. Your body should be the last thing on his mind because you are more than the body. And man, you don't have to sell drugs, have bands, or be a rapper or a scammer because a real woman will see you for your ambition, your drive, and your mind. If you don't have what you want yet, she should see your motivation that you will be able to achieve your goals and she should also help you achieve your goals by being there and motivating you not motivating you in a negative way to do bad things you know you are more than just a wallet you don't have to be a criminal or someone that does bad things just to be loved the right way it's so easy to see how simple things such as an environment music movies and tv and social media can have a huge influence over our lives sometimes we have to change our music selection as well me i stopped listening to rap music i really listen to um stevie wonder my favorites i'm gonna name my favorites i listen to stevie wonder earth wind and fire marvin Gaye, teddy pentagrass luther van Jaws, and so much more i mostly just listen to like um 90s 80s 70s and <laughs> 60s maybe 50s but that's what i like to listen to now and music is a lot different because you can actually hear like the good vibrations in it um now i'm so big on protecting women and children just because living as a woman i see inexperience on the things that we have to go through and you have to be strong just to wake up every day and just to keep going and um and I salute all the women out there, and I want y'all to know that y'all are doing a great job and keep going. And in order to make a change in this world, we have to stop putting our faith in someone who doesn't understand all the things we go through in life, but realize we are strong enough and powerful enough to make be the change that we need. And I'm big on protecting children as well, because our children are our future generation, our future leaders. We must protect them and guide them in the right way, not the ways that's being projected onto us. And without women and children, we won't be here today. We should respect women more and mostly protect them more because they are the ones that's being targeted the most. For example, social media can make a woman feel like she's not enough or not pretty enough. So now she's thinking about getting her body done. When half the people you see online aren't real, they use just as many filters and photoshops just to look like that. I know y'all see how they do the food in the food commercials. They use fake food, plastic, and styrofoam just to make the food look good or presentable. So never let someone question your natural beauty, your natural hair, your natural body. Because first, you have to love. Because first, you have to love and accept your body for how it is. And once you love your body and your natural beauty, you will see that you are perfect. And honestly, the key to losing weight is to stop calling yourself big or fat. The key to being beautiful is to stop calling, stop calling yourself ugly. Stop letting people make you feel like you're ugly because you're the most beautiful person in the world. Everything in your environment reflects of how you treat yourself. So people will treat you how you treat yourself. People will love you the way you love yourself. So once you start to love yourself and see yourself as enough, see yourself as beautiful, see yourself as, you know, amazing, you will start to feel amazing. People will treat you amazing. And that will start to glow. You know, you get a natural glow and you'll feel a lot better. Your thoughts will be a lot better. So, um, see yourself as the perfect size. See yourself as the perfect image. You know, I read this book called The Greatest Secret by Rhonda Boy and she also has a book called The Greatest Secret to Love and Health and Money and she states that in order to become the person you want to be you have to automatically see yourself as that person and nobody can love you if you don't love yourself so everything starts with you and what's influencing you in your life if you want to remove the negative influence and replace them with knowledge and wealth and health you will be on the true path to success sometimes it's the best to be alone in an environment where you can focus on your goals and future the most common form of change is not eternal but external your outer world changes decides who you want to be you often become a product of the environment you're in we can see that in today's society now your habits change depending on what your what environment you're in. Your influence create what kind of person you will become. If you hang out with a friend too much, people say you act just alike. 
but you can't tell because you aren't aware how powerful influences are in your life. We have to make a change in ourselves and be more aware of our actions and the actions of others around us. Start asking yourself, is this going to build me into, into a successful person or is this going to hinder my growth? Also, ask yourself, is this going to create a bad habit or create a healthy habit? A very small shift in direction can lead into a very meaningful change in destination. So, if you make a very small shift in to what you want to be in life, if you make a very small shift in your environment, your actions, your thoughts, your mood, it can make a powerful change in the way you end up in life. So, if you want to be successful in life, you have to take those steps to become successful. And sometimes you have to let go of everything that's not going to help us be successful. So, sometimes change can be really hard to um, do because we're not used to change. We're not used to doing these things. But once you get used to it, it'll be easier. That's why sometimes it's best to grow in an environment where you can be alone so you won't have any negative influence or any outside influence. So, that's why it's best to be alone when you're on a um, journey of growth and change because the only influence Influence you want on your life is yourself and God. So sometimes we have to let go of the negative um, influence and to just be yourself and be alone and everything. Isolation isn't a bad thing unless you make it a bad thing. But isolation can also be a beautiful thing because you're able to grow into everything you meant to be and more. So thank you for watching and everything. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm whispering. I'm on my lunch break outside and I don't want people to hear me talk while I record this video. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video and everything. And I hope this was a great video. I really didn't know if I should make this video or put it out or not. But I just wanted and did it anyway because you know sometimes we just have to go against that feeling and put it out anyway because we never know you know this could be the video that you know that's meant to be and some people need to hear this and everything so sometimes you just have to put it out there and just wish for the best you know don't wish for the best know the best know that you're the best know that this is going to be a good thing and know this is going to affect the world and change the world in some type of way and if this is your purpose and your own <clears throat> if this is your purpose and your thing to do, you know, it will benefit you in the long run because you know, sometimes it might not even be you. It might just be your shine. But yeah, sometimes I'll just be talking. But you know, if you have an idea that you think you need to do or you uh, have things that you wanna do, just go ahead and put it out there and just be um positive about it because you never know what can happen. It could be a good thing, you know, and then if it's not you can learn from it and everything. So don't be scared to be yourself. Don't be scared to achieve your goals. Don't be scared to pursue your dreams. You know, just do go out there, do it, take the foot, step out there, you know, take the leap of faith and just wish for the best. And most of all pray about it before you do anything. So everything is gonna, you know, turn out good and everything and I'm great hopeful that Hopefully that y'all have a great week and everything. And I'm trying to be more consistent in my posting at least a video every week or so. If I don't post a video every week, I, I didn't feel like it. Or I want to make sure I have the right information before I post it and everything. Because I didn't really know what I should talk about in this video. And it just came to me last night. So I just wrote this and everything. And I'm here. I'm trying to make the video in less than an hour and everything. So hopefully it comes out right. And hopefully y'all enjoy it. So thank you for watching.